at 1.37 in the afternoon on April 22, 1978, ex-Texas and Pacific 610 makes up lost time four miles south of Rising Fawn, Georgia, with a northbound Heart of Dixie excursion. This train is on the way from Birmingham to Chattanooga. October 21st, 1978. The morning sun rises over the trees as Southern 4501 departs Chattanooga en route to Crossville with the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum's 10th anniversary autumn leaf special. Once the 4501 gets clearance, engineer Bill Purdy opens the cylinder cocks and enters the main line on the northbound run. Despite a high green, the train stops for a photo run by at Rockwood, Tennessee. Jumping ahead to June 8, 1980, we see various scenes taken trackside of Grand Trunk Western number 4070 on the Cuyahoga Valley Line, a predecessor to today's Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad. The train made its way from the outskirts of Cleveland to Hale Farm and Village outside Akron, Ohio on rails then owned by the B&O. It's now October 27, 1984, and we're at the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum's East Chattanooga Yard, as engines 630 and 722 are being prepared for a trip to Grand Junction.
It's now April 17, 1982. An excursion arriving in Chattanooga from Atlanta is seen passing the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum engine number 630 at the Grand Junction Depot at Jersey, Tennessee. The Southern on Saluda. It's March 15, 1985, and Southern Railway Extra number 3228 West is approaching Melrose, North Carolina at the base of the famous Saluda grade. Here, Southern number 3228, Southern 3159, and Norfolk Southern number 3204 are preparing to triple the hill. Their drawbar tonnage will not allow a single movement, so the train has to be brought up to Saluda in three sections.